The Experiential Music Curriculum, also known as the EMC, is a holistic approach to music making where we incorporate composition, uh, theory, skills such as aural skills, deep listening, sight singing, solfege into a very robust music making program. You won't be in large music lecture demonstration classes. Lecture demonstrations are a great way to teach people about things, but they're not a good way to teach people to do things. You'll find yourself in the experiential music curriculum, small groups of four, five, and six students doing composition together, doing improvisation together, ear training, hearing music and playing and singing it back. You will be acquiring skills that you will use pragmatically for the rest of your life. So a regular class in our EMC skills program would start with a group a lecture where we talk about either sight singing possibilities or sight singing techniques, uh, score reading techniques. We would talk about improvisation and we would talk about deep listening. Then students go to small sections and work within with five to six uh, student groups. And there it's a very holistic process. Students may start with doing a dictation of a Mozart piece. They then perform the Mozart piece from their dictation. So they're each dictating, say, their own string quartet part. They then take that and change it. So something that might be a two chord becomes a five of five by raising the third. And they would do this all by realizing the harmonic analysis and then changing it as needed. And then finally, they would take that chord progression that might come from a Mozart or from a Beethoven and then improvise over that chord progression. So there you have both a discovery that happens through uh, a, a harmonic or melodic dictation. You then have a drilling and realization where you can manipulate the different parts of the chord by changing them and its function. And then we create by improvising over them. For a high level classical performance major, um, a very low percentage of them, some do, but a very low percentage of them come in with the ability to improvise and many of them are very, very focused on their instrument as I was, and a little bit skeptical of broadening out. In fact, maybe worried that it would take them away from the high level of playing that they're striving for in their careers. But what we find, and what I've found in my teaching and my own personal experience, is that adding skills like improvising, entrepreneurship, conducting, adds to our musicianship as classical performance majors. It's similar to the model of the past, Bach, Mozart, Beethoven, all played at a high level, also composed, also conducted, also directed. They were creative in multiple areas of music. We want our students to be able to do this, to take our field into the future. Particularly with the improv end of things, a lot of students have no experience with improvisation. And with composition, they may think to themselves that this is just something that is a born skill that only certain people can do. What a lot of people don't realize is that improvisation is not just this innate talent or this innate ability. It is a learned skill, same with composition. It is something that any musician can approach. I really enjoy teaching these classes because I see how much the students improve and how much they enjoy it. By the time they're done with the program, they're not scared of composing anymore, of improvising. No one says, oh no, I'm not a jazz musician, I do not improvise. We all compose, we all improvise, and it's, it's uh, quite a joy to see the students go through that process. The EMC program is a bit of a unifying experience for all the students here at Frost. It's pretty much the only class that everyone in the School of Music is required to take. And we're split up into small groups where we practice. In these small groups, I've formed some of the best bonds and some of the best supportive communities um, that I've ever experienced in a curricular class.